because of which it forms four bonds. Now, actually, what happens is that the the two s and two p are in different energy states. So then we have something called the mixing of orbitals. Okay, you have something called the mixing of orbitals. So sometimes the two s mixes with all three uh, all three two p orbitals to give something like this. So this is called an sp three hybridized. So uh, so. uh let me before i go there before i go there so you can see that the 2s orbital has mixed with the 2p orbitals right the 2s subshell has mixed with the 2p subshell so we have this now these orbitals they are no longer 2s orbitals or 2p orbitals all of them are the same type of orbital which is sp3 orbitals because 1s orbital has combined with 3p orbitals to give 4 sp3 orbitals sp3 this is also sp3 this is also sp3 this is also sp3 so now carbon can form four bonds four single bonds because single bonds obviously each of the orbitals is different so four single bonds and that's how and that's how we get methane which is ch4 because what happens is that uh, one hydrogen atom it shares its electron with each orbital each sp3 orbital to give ch4 so that's sp3 hybridization it's called sp3 hybridization yeah now another thing can happen so this is sp3 hybridization it's called sp3 hybridization another thing can happen the s orbital can combine with two of the 2p orbitals to give something like this actually it's wrong because the p has more energy so the yeah to give something like this now now in this case what has happened is that this 2s orbital it has combined with two 2p orbitals yeah and this is the third 2p orbital so it has only mixed with two 2p orbitals and there is a vacant uh, there is a and it has left alone another 2p orbital right So now this is no longer 2s or 2p these orbitals these three orbitals which have combined together now they are called sp2 hybridized orbitals because 1s orbital has i has combined with two 2p orbitals right so this is called these are sp2 hybridized orbitals and this however remains a 2p orbital remember that this however remains a 2p orbital now this is how we get the carbon carbon double bond i'll be explaining all of this just give me a minute to explain hybridization and then i'll be explaining all of this now this is another or we can have the s combining with 1p the s combining with 1p 2s and this is one of the 2p orbitals and we have left alone the other two 2p orbitals yeah 2p 2p so now these are no longer s and p uh, wait just a second these two the s and p when they have combined they are no longer s and p they are sp together so we have two sp orbitals sp sp hybridized orbitals so this is what hybridization is and the 2p is still called 2p now let's look at the, this diagram okay let's look at this diagram over here so the sp3 hybridized orbital it you can you know that there were four hybridized orbitals remember sp3 was four hybridized four orbitals in total because there was the s and there were three 2p orbitals so uh the four, four sp3 hybridized orbitals with one electron each now in this case you can see that there are four sp3 hybridized orbitals so these are the four sp3 hybridized orbitals this is what it looks like when the s and p mix together now hybridization you must be thinking why does this happen so this happens because it is more stable than general chemical bonding it is more stable than general covalent bonding and it it results in the formation of stronger bonds so obviously nature will always go towards greater stability so greater stability is basically hybridization and that's why hybridization takes place so in the case of ch4 the, uh, which was methane this this black dot you can see in between is the central carbon atom then 
H combines over here, H combines over here, H combines over here, H combines.